Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, senior editor here at CNET.com. I'm here at CS 2010, and I want to show you the Google Nexus One. Of course, Google did not introduce this phone at CS. They actually got a jump the day before the show started and introduced it at their Mountain View headquarters. But the phone is so important, we had to get it here. We have to do a full review, and I want to show you all about it uh, in a first look. Offers a lot of features that we haven't seen before. It is very cool, has a great processor. Wouldn't say it's a real revolution as far as Android goes, but it is a very nice phone. From the design, you'll see that it doesn't look a whole lot different than other Android phones we've seen. Looks a little like the HTC Droid Aris, looks a little like the HTC Hero, so it's a little different than both of those, but a nice combination of them both. Uh, it is about the same size as both the Hero and the Droid Aris. It's also about the same size as the iPhone. A little lighter than both, but it has a nice feeling in the hand. Uh, just a very big touch screen. That's really the biggest thing about this phone when you see it. It is an AMOLED display. It's 16.7 million colors. Great pixel resolution. It really stands out. Everything I saw on this display, whether it was photos, graphics, uh, in a game, even the, just the bare basic menus, the text, all looks really, really nice. So I was very impressed with it. It has an accelerometer, a proximity sensor, so when you remove it, or when you put it close to your ear, sorry, to get on a call, uh, the display will turn off so you don't press anything accidentally. Actually, it has an ambient light sensor as well, so uh, when you're outside, it will adjust. The phone also has noise cancellation, so that means that there's a microphone here at the bottom, here on the back, and when you're on the phone, uh, the volume that you hear will adjust as uh, the background noise is around you. So if it's louder, you'll get a little louder, and if it's uh, in a quiet space, then the phone will go a little quieter as well. There is a volume rocker, and on the back you'll find the 5-megapixel camera lens and the flash. Nice to see a flash on Android phones, not too many of those. Also, you have a space down here where you can actually engrave the phone. Google says when you order it, you can put in, I don't know, a name, a message, uh, whatever you want. Up on the top, there is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Great to see that early HTC Android phones had a proprietary jack, which means you couldn't use your own headphones, so it's nice to see that. This phone actually allows you to do a lot of things just with your voice. It's not completely hands-free, so that's important to note. But you can uh, get your Facebook status, you can send a text, you can add the recipient's name to the text, you can search the Android market. To buy it, you'll need to go to Google. They set up a storefront. You can either buy the phone unlocked. You can also buy the phone with T-Mobile service. So it's a two-year contract, and it's 179 But the great thing is, is that phone is also unlocked. Normally, when you buy a phone with a carrier with service, it is locked. So once the contract is up, you have to get the carrier to unlock the phone for you, or you have to find the unlock code. In this case, once you get out of your contract, or you win it early and pay the yearly termination fee, you can use it whatever carrier you want. Of course, that is GSM only. But it also means when you take the phone overseas, you can pop in a prepaid SIM card. You don't have to worry about roaming charges. So that's a great feature. It really marks how differently this phone is being sold than most phones are sold in this country. So great thing to note. Overall, though, I think it's a very promising phone. doesn't have that many groundbreaking features. It's really just how that phone is sold, which I think is the most important about it. But we will see more Google phones like this. It will come to Verizon. That's what we've heard. And while you can use this phone with AT&T right now, it is not compatible with AT&T's 3G. So that means you use AT&T's Edge. You able to make calls as normal, but any web browsing will be a little slower than on T-Mobile's 3G network. So that's another important to know. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is the Google Nexus One. What's up, Brian Tong here. And if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple Byte, and I'll see you there.